Hey, hey. So if you want, you go. is Caiaphas House. Yep. Caiaphas House is actually the home, it's actually the jail cell. Jesus Before, was held uh, here. When he was in prison, I guess is the best way to say it. Yeah, yeah, overnight. Captured. Prison. Taken. What uh, went down here, it's Matthew 26. Mm -hmm. um, if you go in there and look, when they get to the part about Caiaphas, um, it talks about how they brought Jesus here and they were they were just humiliating him. They were hitting him, they were spitting on him. They were just like they would hit him and say, "Who hit you?" And then they they start questioning, "Who do you, who are you?" And they were doing their best to just embarrass him. Yeah. Caiaphas is uh, he's one of the Sanhedrin. So he's a high priest. He was the guy right at the head of this whole thing who was basically running this whole mock trial of Jesus. And then they held him here. We're gonna go inside now because our group is leaving. Look at Peter followed him all the way there. Uh, this is a dude that just fell asleep a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> he just fell asleep a couple times. He said, I'll never, I'll never betray you. He did Last Supper. You know, yeah. Peter, he is, uh, he runs in first, thinks second. You yeah, know what he, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And he's trailing Jesus. Not he's a level-headed guy. Yeah. But great. So Peter decides to sit outside where all the soldiers are waiting, outside of this whole mock trial, to just see what happens. Eventually, we know that later on that night, what does Peter do? Denies the Lord. I can't, sorry. Trace. Three times. It's hard with the t camera. This is where Peter was sitting when he denied Jesus on the third time. And it says that the rooster crowed. I've just heard it twice. A rooster. was not a certain kind of beating or a certain kind of torture or not having food or not having light, but it was not being allowed to be in with right. anyone. No At people, all. you're completely alone. They said they would lower him down into this pit, this prison that we're heading to, and he would be completely alone in the dark after the Cat of Nine Tails, which the lashes were intense. I didn't realize that they showed the spot here where they would tie up Jesus' hands, and they tied his feet too, so he's completely hanging while they while they helpless while they did that. And they would cleanse the wounds immediately after salt and vinegar? Yeah. Is it vinegar? Yes. Yeah. That's brutal. So this is this is the area where Jesus was lowered down to be by himself to for solitude after he was beaten. So like look there's a the hole they lowered him down in. What does it feel like inside that pit? Uh, it is um, it's very solid. Like you you kind of you can't grasp the mentality he had at that moment or the weight he had on him or how he felt, not only physically but emotionally, mentally, spiritually, like everything. Like he was stuck and then he had no one to talk to. Even like in the Garden of Gethsemane, like he could talk to his disciples when he was struggling. Like here, it's like he was beaten, physically beaten, and then lowered in there after everything else he'd gone through. It's just, a, it's hard to imagine if somebody did that. We, we read uh, Psalm 88 when we were down in that pit. And when David wrote that, he was writing it about what was to come. He talks about being in the pit, being the lowest of low, being unrecognizable by your friends. When you think about it, because of Je Jesus was so beaten, so torn up, he was unrecognizable. Gosh. This is crazy.